Hi, this is Arthur Toll with SRP for another SRP Quick Tip. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the difference between stainless steel and galvanized steel. If, uh, if you're not familiar with either of these materials, hopefully this video will help you make a selection. Galvanized steel is the less expensive of the two materials and it is made out of uh, usually a, a cold rolled steel that has a galvanized coating on top and what that means is that it has been altered to have uh, a, zinc, uh, a zinc layer on top of it. So you have your material, your steel, and then you're going to put a layer of zinc over top of it. Now this comes uh, into the factory, into our factory, like this. So one thing that you need to consider is that whenever we cut the material, whenever we cut the material, we actually cut through the coating as well. So let's see, we're putting a hole in it there. Now we've cut through our zinc coating. So the insides of this hole is going to be exposed to the, uh, to the elements and it's not going to be as well protected as the rest of the, as the, rest of the bracket is. Uh, one of the great things about uh, zinc though is that from a, from a chemical standpoint, that hole will still be partially protected. However, uh, eventually that, that will wear down and the hole will start to rust before the rest of the part. Uh, but that's something you need to consider if choosing galvanized steel. Uh, as far as galvanized steel's uh, appearance, it, uh, it has a, a dull gray look. It's, it's, it's usually very, uh, very much an industrial decision. Uh, it can be painted, but it's difficult and the paint is redundant. So if you're going to get a part that, uh, that you want to have painted, uh, it's probably best to go with just a raw steel and then paint that. Uh, now, if you look closely at the galvanized steel, you'll see it's got uh, a bunch of little changes in the in the way. It's got like almost a pattern, and that's called spangle. And different types of galvanized steel will have different sizes and and uh, shapes of spangle. I'm sure you're familiar with it. You've probably seen seen it on uh, lamp posts and guardrails and things like that. Uh, but that's just what that is, and if you, if you have a specification for your spangle, let us know. Uh, we'll try to get a material that matches that. Now stainless steel is different than galvanized steel. It doesn't have a coating. Um, it is just itself made from an alloy that does not, uh, that is resistant to rust. So by itself, it's resisting rust. If you cut a hole in it, the inside of that is not any differently protected than the rest of the part. So if that's something that's a concern to you, you might want to choose a stainless steel instead of over a galvanized. Stainless steel is usually considered a more attractive finish. That's why all your kitchen appliances have stainless steel in front of them. So that's another consideration when you're choosing between these materials. These particular two pieces of stainless steel have a brush number four finish. Um, stainless steel accepts a wide number of good finishes uh, from mill to four and then some places will even do mirror coated finishes on that. You cannot do that type of finish on a, uh, on a galvanized part because trying to put on that finish, you're just scraping off the galvanized coating and removing all, all of its benefits. So when you're trying to decide whether you want stainless steel or galvanized, you need to take into account appearance, uh, durability, uh, and cost, because the stainless is a good bit more expensive, but you get what you pay for. It. 